Do you ever dare to wonder what goes on behind those eyes? Those eyes hidden beneath the, the, the hood. The face obscured. For all we know, this could be a lie. This could just be a game of chance. Or hell. Maybe a sign more. Things here are tainted. What's up, guys? Northern Crusade here once more with Hand of Fate. Um, I, this is just literally off the moment kind of thing, so I actually am doing another endless run. This can't be just like what I do when I can't really sit down and get a good recording session in. Which is a shame, because I've got stuff I want to get back to, and I know it's been a while since I last uploaded anything actually fitting. Uh, I was going to do Hard to Find 4, but definitely is on that. I've, you've, you've seen the update on that front. Um, so we're doing this a bit more. We're going to do another endless run. Now I'm going to take... Where is he? The Explorer. Uh, I don't think I've taken this one before. Actually, no, let's take the Lion Prince. I love Lion Prince too much. It's too valuable. Especially in Endless Run, you get plenty of fights. Think about the way we play this game. <laughs> you continue to die, yet we reset the board each time. One has to wonder how it is possible to truly lose. Are you kidding me? That's how they start it with a Dark Dweller on a 1 in 4? Choose from the options. Ah, oh, come on! Well, that hurts. I can heal from that. Ouch. I can heal from that. The good news is that if we just it injures, it doesn't stop us, so it's not like the river, it just hurts. I hate it, I really don't get why it's in the game. The Maiden, that's a better one. One day in a shady forest you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long helped mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Uh, blessing. And... High constitution, nice. Twice normal healing. The elders of our kind often say that we must retread paths we once took in order to gain an advantage of the present. Farewell, mortal. That's a new one. So we should be fully healed in this. Um, What's that? Is that a treasure chest? Treasure chest. I not... Uh, one more step down. I've got food spare. This or another set of stairs. I'm fully healed anyway and there's not much that too much this can do. Okay, 50-50. Really? Gas trap. Move forward and suddenly hear a click. The gas trap. Room begins filling with dead gas. Let's get the gas. One in four. And one is a huge failure. Really? At least just five health damage. Ah, so the mimic doesn't kill me. Okay, three and four. Come on. Thank you. Finally, one. Uh, four gain. Equipment. That'd be good, actually. What do we sure get? Ring of enlightenment. Uh, I'm gonna. I have to take it. I'm not. I'm not gonna put it on. What's we said? So we use to sell it. Money. Money. Can I have some? No. Guess not. Ah, uh, that's a good place to start, I guess. The thing is, I'll heal from all the damage, so... Into the subterranean pit. Any damage he deals, I'll heal. Because of food. There's my quote. Uh, lost her helm, wasn't using all anyway. The work Oops. World is a game board. And us men and women merely players. I alone do not play. I maintain the rules. You have choices, and I have predestination. The White Council Four. <laughs> yeah. A merely a rediscovery of that which you already know. The White Council DLC line. Win this and claim my token. On a fine sunny day, you set out into the forest, hidden in a barrel on the wagon of Tarin, the merchant. Your destination is the White Council stronghold. After what seems like hours, a deep voice calls out, HALT! Tarin yelps in surprise, and the wagon stops. You hear Tarin greet someone. Ah, hello, my lord. Uh, I have your usual shipment here. Nothing interesting to say about it. You cringe in your barrel. 
Is that so? The other voice remarks, casually before falling silent for some time. Then, here is your payment. And you hear the click of gold coins. Suddenly, there is a blinding white light. When your vision clears, you dare to look out from your place of concealment. You see that. You see that you and all the stock from Tyrone's wagon are now sitting in the middle of a stone hall inside a circle of runes and symbols. A trio of poorly dressed goblins set to work sorting everything into a storage room to one side under the supervision of a bored looking mage. I would love that huge success, I really would. Probably not gonna get it. It's you. Ah, that's good enough, I'll say that. You manage to sneak into a shadowy alcove where you hope well, uh, you hope to wait undetected until the goblins complete their labours and you can leave. You soon discover that the tower is a sprawling maze of passages and chambers, many more than could actually fit inside the structure you saw from a distance. You are inexplicably, uh, inexplicably drawn to a bare stone chamber with an opening to the sky above. You watch as magicians summon an enormous scaled creature into existence. Its form seems mainly to be composed of vicious looking claws, gnashing teeth, and writhing tentacles. You feel dizzy just watching it. It lunges, biting and slashing at the wizard, but backs away when he raises an ornately decorated skull. The wizard addresses the creature. You will go to the city of Kader and kill the duke. <laughs> the creature's unblinking eyes gaze into every direction at once, and it seems the voice resonates from a dozen mouths. How has he wronged you? It is, or is this Come more? Down, we don't have forever. Shut up. Or is this more wisdom from the benevolent council? He, fool he foolishly questions my will. Do as you will. Do as you as do you. The wizard responds, holding the skull higher. Go. I command it. The beast retreats once more, rasping. Beware, Zahagan. The bones of my true master will not protect you forever. One day you will slip and drop them, and then I shall have you in my claws. Your threats are hollow, demon, and serve only to delay your departure. The mage stops abruptly. What are you up to? He murs, then quickly looks around the room in alarm. His gaze comes to rest directly upon you, watching from the shadows. Sending that school. May as well. I don't like the stuff, it's actually really neat. <laughs> you send your weapon flying across the room, crashing into the skull and knocking it to the floor. The mage looks from the fallen skull to you, and then to the beast. His mouth opens, but before he can utter a word, a dozen tentacles ascend upon him. He's lost something. A loud bell begins ringing throughout the halls. More robed figures appear from glowing portals to aid their leader. You flee the room as the sound of, sounds of fire, magic, and teeth do battle. Under the cover of the chaos you have sown, you manage to loot a magical artifact of some kind from the unacquired laboratory before being spotted. There's an intruder in the lab! A magician's calls from a doorway. No time for that now, someone else yells. Just expel it before it damages something important. One of the magicians casts a spell, and you find yourself standing in the forest. The tower just visible in the far distance. The card's token is now yours. Wow! Piece of the for you. That was actually really interesting. <laughs> I do like the White Council. Seems to be my favourite so far. Um, but some of the magical creature they've got the skull of. What was it? A mass of tentacles and claws. Um... I've got an idea of what it is, I just know it's not it's not where it's gonna be. Because this game seems to make up a lot of magical creatures. Druids! Let us meet those who worship natural forces rather than the gods. It's just your mic, I hate this mic, it's just me. You're approached by a group of mysterious robed people. One of the robed figures addresses you. You look well accustomed to battle. Would you like to earn some coin? Can we details? We are druids, wishing to perform certain Ritual was over the coming weeks. These activities must take place at specific times and places. We cannot risk any interruptions, such as from creatures or bandits. We'll pay gold to one who protects from joining the ceremonies. I will take you on the offer. The first ceremony will be at the Sacred Stones at exactly midday on the summer solstice. The card's token is now yours. We shall see you there. I have foreseen it. God, I'm glad to remember these voices, aren't I? So, from a bad start to this, uh, a winding trail I will take, because that's actually a fight. Sail away. 
and see what you will find. I feel like I'm burning a lot. Way too much food. I think you can get some food out of this. One monster card. Weapons bristle from the trees around you. Their willless faces obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. Attack him. You shout battle cry and raise your weapon. It's two dust. I'm not going to lose. And this is worth ten health for me. Even if I get injured, I heal double. Well, yeah, I heal double and do extra. Surprise! I'm ready to fight before you are. Damn it! Not today. Oh, two health each. Sorry. Why well, I think it's five health each. That's worth four health. That's a good start. First actual fight we had, and we've gained health from it. Good. Free gain. Armory. A mask of extortion. Oh, we checked some. Okay. Food, which is always good. And draw two, keep one. Uh, spiritual healing. Why are you? If you're strong of spirit, oh. you'll find this a boon. If not, well. I like my blessings, but I don't think I'm going to get enough. But however, the axe is just not worth getting. I've got to the righteous, this meets further justice, while the wretched receive only increased misery and despair. I'd hope I get more blessings, but I'm not gonna keep my. I'm not gonna hold my breath. All right, what are you adding now? Cowardice. More than anything, I am. Oh. Really? Player cannot choose a combat. <sighs> Your currency is spent. Your memories tattered and torn, formed into mere cards for us to play with. The loan. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. In a busy market town, you are approached by a shopkeeper on the verge of losing his store. If you lend me the gold I need to save my store, I'll pay you one day of interest. Give him ten gold. The shopkeeper gratefully accepts your gold, saying, You won't regret this. God's token is now yours, and... To get the gold payback after ten steps. I made that a little too powerful. So I ten. That's nice. Time. I think that counts as a blessing. Then again, if it's a one use, it just burns. <sighs> what would give for a traveling healer about now? I would love a traveling healer just so I can give it to Caldas. All right, what do you got, laddie? Um, good against those men. Don't like that. Oh, to be fair, eh. I will buy this just because I haven't seen the rest of the dragon stuff, and I'm wondering the if that helps. Success is specialization. The more specific the intention, the more channeled the power, and the more dramatic is the result. I am on fucking hell. That's a rip off. I'm not gonna buy too many. Just enough to get me back up to ten. Because that should get me down the floor at least to another shop. A wife's fury. Oh god. Braver than I if you're willing <laughs> to get involved in a marital dispute. While travelling through a small town, you're accosted by a furious woman who shouts at you from the door of the homestead. You there! You look like you're in hand to yourself. My husband was supposed to be home hours ago, but instead he's with his pals drinking away all our coin. Oh come on, really? They left the spores for their latest job here. If you go and teach them a lesson, you can take your pick. Typical. Never coward. It's like all the rest. A curse. Oh, really? Ah! Time distortion. Ah, that is one of my favorites. Okay! So, combat's now a lot faster. You need to get the. You need to actually go confront them to get the token for that. I need to get rid of this curse. I really do. Ah, I brought my hands away. That's not too bad. Four plagues. Cowardice is probably the most painful for Endless because it stops you fighting. And it's the it's practically the anti of what the stuff is! It's the opposite of what the Lion, what the lion Prince needs. Because the Lion Prince has to fight to get his power. Nearly.
Nothing in the way. Well, we got health out of it. Demon Trader. We play for a token now. In your dreams one night, you are summoned to a fiery pit and greeted by a demon. I sense you have some spiritual aura about you. I am willing to trade you a magical item for it. Yeah, I'll do it. The demon eyes you hungrily. It opens its fiery maw and you feel some part of your soul dragged into that hellish abyss. The card's token is now yours. Uh, we lost... That's not too bad. Tasty, the demon exclaims. Your new magical item will be sent along to the mortal realm soon. In the meantime, take this old thing. That's Being not bad. Being tougher than you look is a very considerable advantage. I'll take it now. I'm hoping that he took the loan. He actually did. <laughs> he actually did. Yay! <laughs> I didn't actually know that work. It's better than trudging along a muddy uh, road. Certainly. I'm going to keep that card in there, because that actually works wonders. Just to be able to keep going like this, jeez, and what's this fight? Trap looking in the shadows of oh, food. Oh, oh no, oh no, I lost one apple. Helpful priest, I'm sadly... Eh. Oh! Oh, he helps to help me, okay. <laughs> yes, please. I, I'm, I've got a lot I can sell. Just get rid of this bloody cow with us. 38. And I've got 33. I need to sell something worth 5. If I sell you, I get 8. I can make do with the normal helmet. But I need to get rid of this. But I can deal with time distortion. For now, anyway. Uh, what have you got blessings for me? Arcan knowledge, headbands blessing, high constitution. That'd be good if I actually um, kept using axes, but I don't tend to use them later on. Arcan knowledge isn't that good for me, because I don't use artifacts. Otherwise, things seem pretty good. Check. No, gold payback actually kept. I must be saying things then. Oh, so it's high constitution. Okay. Um, you find yourself lost and alone in the desert. Let's wander aimlessly. Last time I did this, I found a tomb. A choice. Select your desire. Oh God. Half your supplies are eating my sandworms, so we're down by three. And then you're ambushed. Yeah, that's not too bad for me. Well, it is, but... Scales, dust. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Scales to scales. Shouldn't be that hard to fight. Really, the biggest threat is the scales, but the scales... Whoa, if they don't do that, I need to fight. Why is this thing red? What? Not you. Now! Down. God damn it. You would be bloody blocking, wouldn't you? That's him down. Bingo. I don't think you get any gold gain or gain for this. Uh, one gain. <laughs> More food, the same amount of food lost. Uh, can't get any food, so there we go. So I do need to go back because this has actually made it all worth it. Down once more. Seeking the and I might be able to get something good from this. 
with only three food, 